Okay, let's take a look at lists in Python. What is my hair doing? That's beside the point. Let's get to it. Let's take a look at lists. So uh, the general format of lists is that basically lists are ordered sequences. So they are ordered sequences that use the square bracket. Easy enough, right? All right, so let's start off. So let's create a really basic list. We'll call it my list. We'll set it to equal with square brackets and we'll say it's one, two, and three. Um, so I go my list, one, two, three. The cool thing about lists is we can actually mix and match uh, the types of information we have in it. So I could add a string. I could add a integer and I can add a float to my list and they're all there. You can check the length of a list through the len function. You can also um, you can also index a list as well. So if I go with my list, uh, I can index it. So let's say I want to grab everything, uh, you know, let's go everything. I don't know. Let's do everything um, but the first, or everything up to the first. My brain was uh, not working there for a second. Uh, we can also do similar. So go my list and grab everything from the first one forward. So 123 for not taking that first, uh, the first piece of it. We can also uh, do similar from before my list. Two, one, and two. I mean, actually, it's a terrible way of doing it. Let's do that. Uh, let's do this. Let's, from, let's go from zero to the end and we'll go by two okay so in this case it does every other so it's going to skip cool easy enough let's clear this out uh so the next thing we can look at list so actually let's look at my list again so we have our list here we can actually concatenate lists we can actually add lists together so let's create a second list and let's set it to one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Cool. So I go my list and I can add my second list. And now the two lists have been added together. They're concatenated and you can actually set it to a new variable. So it's called new list equals this. And now I have my new list. Also, one of the great things about lists is that they are mutatable. So unlike strings where you can't pick and choose and pull things off it, lists, you can. So let's say I, my new list, I want to change where it says string. I'm going to change it to, uh, I'm the captain now. Captain now. Captain, it's all right. I don't know. Change it. Now if I pull a new list, I can see I'm the captain now has to replace in, you know, in, in, in zero. So the very, very first item there. You can also uh, append things to the very end. So if I have my new list, I can use the append function and I can say, I'm now going to add uh, the rock. And if I look at my new list at the very end, I now have the rock. We can also pop things off so we can remove things. So new list, I can use pop. The rock is now gone. Check my new list. And as you can see, I'm the captain now. And the rock is gone. Clear this. So let's go back to our new list, what it looks like. Remember, we popped off the rock. And one of the cool things is you can actually choose where you pop off and where you choose, where you where, where you want to append as well. So I have my new list. I can go pop. And I can say, you know, let's take off the third one. So in this case, it'd be one. So remember zero, one, two, three. So we're taking off the third one there. And if I look at my new list, you'll see that number one is now missing. Cool. You can also choose when you pop, you can also use the, um, the negative as well. So I want to take off the very last one so I can pop off the nine. Easy enough. A couple other things we want to look at lists. So let's create two new lists. I'm just actually going to copy and paste it over to save myself a bit of effort. So I have list one, A, X, R, C, R. 
and I have list two, which is one, five, three, nine, and eight. So they're out of order. Well, what if I wanted to put them in order? We can use the sort function. Sort. Now, if I look at my list one, it's now sorted alphabetically. I can also do this in reverse using the reverse function. And I look at my list one, it's now reversed. Cool. Clear that out. And if I look at list two, remember list two was the numbers out of order. I can sort that as well. So list two dot sort, list two, now in numerical order and same thing, list two dot reverse and pull list two again and it's reversed. 